were talking earlier about how this now plays out today and I'm just interested in whether kind of gender roles in the 16th century and how women experienced their lives in the 16th century has any connection with how we experience our lives as women today. Okay, so I think there's two, a couple of ways of approaching this. First of all, in terms that we can think about how we have thought about those women. So I would say that almost all our understandings of 16th century women have got this kind of um, layer, a, a, a veneer through which we understand, through which we see them, which is of 19th century and 20th century historians, not all male, but mostly, um, who interpreted these women according to a set of basically Victorian standards, which were also quite patriarchal. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, we have accepted a narrative about women in the past that is based on something that's deeply judgmental. And once you make those judgments about women in the past, so say you say Catherine Howard was promiscuous, she was wanton-headed, she was an you know, empty-headed slut, these sort of things that are said about her, um, you are accepting a set of judgments about women that it's not a, a great leap from there to think about your own life. 